Hey guys, it's Jennifer. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about buttoning. I'm going to show you how to make your own button snake and give you lots of ideas on ways to use it. So first of all, all you need is a piece of ribbon and then two buttons that you sew on to either end. What I like about this is you can change, you can make several of these and make different size buttons for as the students progress for different skills. So obviously what I love about buttoning is that it is a bilateral skill and a super important ADL skill. So what do we put on our button snake? That is the burning question. You can take a um, old sweater, you can go to Goodwill and buy a sweater and just cut the part that's already got the buttonhole on it. You can buy felt at the dollar store and I will caution you that it's kind of thin so it does um, stretch a little bit and cut it into different shapes. So I have squares and circles and triangles. I have an old sweater that I felted and just you just fold it in half, take a scissor and snip it. Um, you could take commercial uh, felt and do the same thing, just fold it in half and snip it. So how are we going to do this? Why are we going to do this? What are we going to do with this after we make our button snake? other than just practicing buttons. So we can make it if we're singing Old MacDonald Had a Farm and we pick an animal, can they find the animal that we're talking about? Or maybe they want to be in control and pick the animal first. Um, maybe we can make a pattern where it's circle, square, triangle, and they have to match the pattern. Maybe we have alphabet letters on our felt pieces and they have to put it on in order A, B, C, D. Or I've taken these pictures of the Eric Carl book, Brown Bear, and I've laminated them and put a slit in them. So as we're singing our or reading our Brown Bear book, we're going to put the corresponding animal on it with the button. So super easy. Kids love it and have found many different ways to play with this. So I hope you have as much fun as I do with buttoning. Uh, stay safe, wash your hands, and keep buttoning.